Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Rangel, and this is my final project, a day in the life of an endocrinologist. An endocrinologist is a doctor that specializes in the treatment of disorders that affect the endocrine system. This system includes multiple glands throughout the body that could potentially suffer from problems such as birth defects, growth complications, weak end or brittle bones, and of course, diabetes. My day usually starts off with a nice cup of coffee because I can never get enough of that. Then I get ready with my clothes. My dress code is the usual medical staff attire since the majority of my work is done at the hospital. Once I'm ready, I say bye to my kid, my dog, and um, my wife, but uh, let's not talk about her, right? Uh, continue on. Once I leave my nice home in LA, I get in my car and I'm off to work, so I can get there by 8 a.m. to start my eight and a half hour shift. And yes, that means I have to work 60 hours a week. <sighs> and of course, there wouldn't be a drive through LA if you didn't hit a mountain of traffic. But luckily for you, you don't have to sit through with me, so uh, skip. Once I've arrived at my job at the Los Angeles General Hospital Center, I head straight to my office to start my off my work. On a typical day, my work is to see a number of patients either in the hospital for scheduled visits or privately on a not so typical day. At my work, I deal with lab tests, x-rays, and a whole mess of other procedures such as organ imaging investigations, that's fun, hormone implants, that's less fun, and conduct examinations on patients' metabolism to see if they have developed or are in the process of developing disorders such as diabetes. One of the last patients I had was a young woman named Ana Garcia. She had come in for an appointment a while ago after I had diagnosed her with diabetes to run some more tests on her body systems. And I had found that although she did not have many complications, the few that she did have such as her blood glucose levels being very high was troubling. I haven't followed up with her since that appointment but I am sure that she's doing very fine. One of the only times where I'm not working is when it's lunchtime, and that is when usually I eat my lunch that is prepared for me by my wife, but for reasons that I'm not too sure I understand, that's not going to be happening for a while, so now I tag along with my work buds to enjoy a nice meal. The workload I have is fairly constant throughout my day, so there's very little downtime, but that's okay because with a salary of over $200,000, I cannot complain which makes it feel so much better when I've finished all my work and get to go home to my kid that I love and my wife. And that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for listening. Once again, I'm Daniel Rangel, and this was my day in the life. Uh,